try and find your marker. Great. I am off to a wonderful start. So, Jake the dog from Adventure Time. He's a very simple character, so I thought that would be a good start to my very first blindfold challenge. Oh my goodness, I'm already terrified. We begin with a nose. A nice, simple circle. Oh, good lord. And then he's got this wonderful muzzle that's like a horseshoe shape that looks uh, pretty much like this. Think of it like a, a rainbow, then uh, that f is followed by the mouth. And he's got a little bit of a smile, which is a slight upward curve. And if you want to make him looking really excited, you can start his lower jaw closer to the base of his muzzle and curve that downward and bring it up to meet up with the other side of his little muzzle flaps. I'm gonna put a little uh, chin line just beneath that. All right, let's put in some teeth. These are just very simple little upside down horseshoes. And then let's indicate his tongue, which is just like a similar rainbow shape. Isn't that great? I lost everything. Uh, oh man, I'm so tempted to just take the blindfold off and look at it, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm honest. Okay, next we're gonna do the eyes. So the eyes are not necessarily perfect circles from this angle, as you can see clearly. So. We're gonna begin by drawing a part of the eye. We're gonna start that circle from part of his jowl and bring it out and bring it back and not fully completing the circle, but you see how the jowl kind of cut it off a little bit, which is great. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Jake has these big, beautiful white eyes. I just love the way his eyes are made. It's like he's got such big, watery eyes that are dark. You know, he's got, his eyes are defined by those big white shine marks. So you create those by doing almost like a half moon within the eye and filling in that black. Nice and perfect. Make sure you get all of those little uh, bits of white paper that's showing through. Okay, so now that we have the basic face, we're gonna create the head. Now this part is kind of tricky for me. We're gonna begin kind of in line with the eye with the eye on his left, Jake's right eye. And we're going to create a little horseshoe loop down. That's gonna be the ear. And now we swing it up and over to the right to create the head. Now this is a little tricky, it takes some practice. <laughs> it takes a steady hand. So then we're gonna loop that back down and create another horseshoe shape of the ear that will line up with his other eye. Isn't that great? We're gonna create his arms now. He's doing a big hurrah cheer in the air, so arm will swoosh up and give him a little one, two, three bump of the fingers and swoosh it right back down and go slow if you need to. There we go. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Exact same thing. Perfect symmetry. There you go. It's it's that easy. Okay, so let's create his body. His body's kind of a little bit of a peanut shape, a little uh, bulgy toward the bottom. They usually see Jake with, sometimes he'll have a paunch. So if you wanna add, I don't think I added a paunch in this original image, so I'm just gonna give a little, ooh, make him paunchy. Oh, and let's not forget his tail, lovely. And uh, let's do his legs, kind of kicking out. Jake the dog has this beautiful wibbly wobbly Body. It's very flexible and fluid, almost like Mr. Fantastic stretchiness and morphing, so you can't really get it wrong. Is that everything there? I think it is. Let's move on to the color. Okay, so for the colors, I completely uh, forget which order I put them in. I'm gonna assume this is yellow. You know what? It's art. Whoop! Opa! So then you fill in the body. Uh, some people do their blindfold challenges by placing their fingers on the page and feeling it out and measuring the space, but I'm just too good at art to try that. I'll just fill it in. I'm using a Canson marker paper that is really cheap and kind of see-through, uh, which is why they put the word pro on the cover of it. Canson does usually have some great papers, but this particular one didn't really impress me. So I'm using it for this particular drawing. Not saying this is a throwaway drawing. Not saying that this won't go in galleries for the ages. Look at that. See, isn't it great? Isn't it turning out wonderful? Next, I'm going to do the mouth, which I know is my pink 
color for sure, 100%. And it's okay, because this color is just intended for the light pink tongue, but it's okay that if you fill up the whole mouth with that, excluding the teeth of course, because then you're gonna go in with your slightly, slightly darker red, and you're gonna fill in the back part of the mouth, where it's a little bit deeper, and that'll give it a sense of depth. I'm gonna delicately go around those delicate little teeth there. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little accents around his fist. And you can make this just fluid and fun, you know, to, it gives the energy. And once you're finished with your drawing, you always sign it. Mary Doodles. And there you go. And that's how you make a drawing of Jake the Dog. I'm gonna do the reveal of my shocked face at how wonderful this turned out oh, so bright. I can't see. What year is it? Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's, they're almost, um, you can't tell them apart from one another. Good work. Good work, everyone. And that is how you draw Jake the dog from Adventure Time. If you wanna see more blindfold challenges, leave a comment below. Let me know which character I should draw next or if I should shut up, stop doing these videos, and start making the videos that you really wanna see. Leave a comment below because all of the opinions are beautiful butterflies flying through the air, hitting your windshield while you're trying to make it from point A to point B, and they just splatter all over your windshield and impair your vision. Opinions. Be sure to share, like, favorite, all the good things with this video. And if you're not subscribed, I highly recommend it. I may be biased, but I do make weekly art videos with drawing challenges, turning scribbles into full-on drawings, doing watercolor paintings, tutorials, all the fun stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Worst thing that could happen is I steal a tiny fragment of your soul, which is part of the YouTube user agreement. And above all, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.